is for the fourth dungeon. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it yet. I'm pretty sure this is a force encounter, too. And these things can instant death to you. Something I completely forgot about. Ah, uh, boy. I don't really think I have anything that could possibly protect me from this. Hmm. Oh, might as well use a heal bro, except nothing else to do. And I'm pretty sure Gaze is instant death if it hits, so. Hopefully it doesn't hit. And just start killing these birds because they are the worst things ever. Okay, if we kill at least three of them, they can't instant death my whole party. Can you please start killing at least three? And now there's only three left. So regardless of the outcome, not everyone can die. And we're good. A wizard staff, which is probably good. A ribbon. A bunch of gill. A bunch more gill. A bunch of even more gill. And a defender. Is the defender... Uh, I guess it's not a shield. Casts blink. I'm going to try that. Nothing better for you. Clearly nothing better for you. And you can't use the wizard staff because you're not a wizard. That's bullshit. I also just ran into this square again. Terrible things have happened. And now I've been turned to stone. Well, the good news is the things that can instant death you haven't instant deathed anyone yet. Bad news is I need to cure that stoning because that's going to be terrible. Anytime now. Yeah, you just let their entire party have a turn hitting my knight because you guys are great at, you know, killing birds. Like, seriously. Like, the most amazing at killing birds. I have no idea. Oh boy. Actually, come to think of it, I don't think those gauntlets have done anything so far, so... I think I'm just gonna throw back on the protect ring. I've been waiting. Take this cube, Tiamat Flying Fortress, please. And this is indeed for the fourth dungeon. Don't suppose I have any items that can teleport me out of dungeons. Um. Huh. I don't think I do, but just see what I do have. Ethers, dry ethers, X potions. So I think there's a set amount of X potions in the game. But yeah, we do have to walk out here. And I just ran to this square for a third freaking time. Oh boy. The second time is accidentally. I had a faster way to get out of here, but I don't. I will go through this entire freaking cave system again. The funnest experience in the world, to be sure. I actually don't think there are any items in here aside from what I've already gone too, so this is great. <sighs> okay, we're out. Good. Thank God. That... Except we still have like half a cave to go through, but we don't have to deal with cockatrices anymore. So at least we've got that saving grace. Except for the fact that I've now got the longest trip back to my airship in history. Like, this is a one floor dungeon. Basically. And it's probably just as long as the volcano is. Like, at this point, I'm just going to do everything in my power to try and get through this as quickly as possible. But there's really not much I can do. 
There really isn't. It's nice to know that those stupid things can appear randomly too, which is just the bravest, honestly. Okay, let's kill these clay golems hopefully really quickly. Hopefully they die to pretty much everything, which is good. I think I'm going the right way. I say I think because I don't know for sure. I don't think anyone knows for sure. I'm really getting really tired of them trying to snort. I don't know what it does. It's probably an instant death skill. Because I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, seriously. I don't want to deal with this crap anymore. I just want to get out of here. Like, honestly. It's not fun fighting this stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's not supposed to be fun, but still. Uh, preemptive strike, so I'm gonna kill this stuff like in one hit again. That's what makes it so not fun, is that I can just literally kill everything in here in one hit. So there's like no challenge at all. So I think I'm almost out. That is a saving grace here. And we're good. Maybe. Thank you. And let's never ever go in there ever again. And even if I missed an item in there, it's unless it's some game-breakingly good item, I'm not going through that again. Because that was kind of annoying. Speaking of kind of annoying, that's the entire third dungeon is kind of annoying. So we're gonna have fun with that, I'm sure. Honestly, I, I still remember monks being a lot stronger than they are. Like, honestly, that's just why I remember. Like, they're called freaking masters, for freak's sakes. Like, why aren't they, like, super overpowered? You would think they would be, but they aren't at all. <sighs> Getting higher tired. It's not because I didn't sleep a lot last night, it's just because like, I just basically fast forward through like a whole dungeon. To try and make it go faster and didn't help at all. And we're in Gaia. Right here. Yay. And we let the fairy out the second we step in. If I remember correctly, I think the ferry will go to wherever the well is. Wherever that is. If I can remember where that is, that would be good. Is it up here? I think it is. Well, it's definitely the aim shop. And church. I caught the ferry, so I figured she's mine to do as I please. It's a big deal. So I sold her to a caravan, so what? Okay, so that's where you'd find out where the thing was sold to. Now, if you follow this path, I believe this is where you want to go. Yeah. So you're the ones who rescued me from that ball. I'm sorry about running away, but I was just so scared. I'll get you some oxy ale from the bomb of the spring to make up for it, okay? Yep, this is where we get the oxy ale. And with the oxy ale, we can literally just do the third dungeon, and because we already have the cube, we can do the fourth dungeon immediately afterwards. Yep. Air will flow out of the water as long as you have it. So in other words, it's basically liquid oxygen. Which sounds pretty awesome. Actually, I want to go in here and see what the weapon shop has. And if I can use any of it. As well as the magic shops. I will buy Kuroja because that's smart. I will buy Diaja, even though I'm probably never going to use it, just because. Just to fill up my level 7s. I do believe there's more magic shops in here, maybe? I could have swore there was two in here. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. No, there is two. 
And here's all the level 8 spells. Probably the only attacking spell I know of. No all, which I'm going to get, because that's probably useful. And this only works on magical defense. Or wait, no, magical defenses. That means protect too, right? So, like, if a boss casts protect in haste or something, you can dispel it. I think this is only three level 8 spells anyway, so might as well get them. So yeah, now we're decked out with like as many spells as humanly possible. And Cat Claws... Not as good as the price indicates. Apparently. What a useless weapon. Grimmy Armlet. I guess I'll buy one. Only because I have like ridiculous amounts of money and grinding for like literally maybe 15 minutes. Well, I guess having to go through the fire volcano again would do it, but still. I didn't grind for that long. Actually, I should probably just go north from here. I'll reach the Crescent Town faster so I can get the exit spill, because that would be really smart to get before going anywhere. Like, really smart. Now, where is the white magic shop? Right across this bridge. That's just by exit. I believe the life spell is also not too far from here. Which we should probably also invest in, because that's an Irish Spark decision. Probably. So we just go this way and then north a little bit. Uh, there's Devil's Tail. And if we head to where Professor Une is living. I think it was Melman that had this. Oh, they definitely do have a white mage. Oh, you do have life? Do I even have the life spell? I do have the life spell. What the hell am I talking about? So what I could do is fill up my level 2 through 4 spells now. No, might as well do. I think. I'm still not sure what that whirlpool is, but I'm sure it's probably a bonus dungeon. That I probably don't want to do. See, that's the beginning of the game. And there's the bridge. And here's where I'm gonna go grab some white mage spells just for the hell of it. On my new characters. Maybe some black mage ones too. Might as well. Uh, I think we'll equip you Blink, Protect, and Cure. So far, so good. I'm not sure if Blink actually does anything. I thought it made you harder to hit, or is it just makes it harder for magic to hit you? I'm honestly not sure which one of those it is, but it's one of those two. Second Town, which is honestly the crappiest town in the game, I think. Well, mainly because it's... Like, there's nothing to this town, really. Let's see, you can get Null Shock. And this race is Evasion, which I believe is actually probably good. Here's Darkness. Prevents Rose from casting spells. I don't think this actually works on most things in the game, but... I will reduce lightning damage by half. You too. And you might as well get Silence, even though I'm pretty sure it doesn't really work on anything. Like, I think it works on, like, weak-ass enemies, and that's it. Which is silly. Hey, look, not the good... Oh my god, this guy. The worst character in the game by far. 
Should probably actually go find the black mage. Uh, blinds all foes. Raises one ally's attack. I will get that. Slow. I'll just get you a bunch of status effect ones. I don't even care. I'm probably not going to use your magic that often anyway. I might use Saber a little bit. Okay, so now we're in this maze area again. If I'm correctly, we just go straight across to here. Now this is the starting town. Crap. What am I thinking of? Go south, and then we go here. Okay, here's your level 3 and 4 spells. I swear it's the last stop I'll make. That doesn't work on anything. I will get Hundara because why the hell not? It's not going to work on anything, but I'll get it just to fill you out. Might as well. And... Uh, the rest of the shops. This town is also not my favorite town because it's just spread out everywhere. Okay, seriously, get out of the way. These fucking elves, man. And white magic. Oh, we can get null frost. None of this stuff that my knight can use. Whatever. I will be able to use some for my ninja. Well, haste is good. Well, Zara is also probably good. I'll get sleep rug, but I'm probably not going to be able to use it on anything, but whatever. For the sake of getting it, we'll get it. And now I'll check the air white mage shop real quick. That's the wrong way. I like there's just a big empty area over here. For no reason. I also like how the white mage shop is next to the graveyard. Okay, I'll give you Null Blaze. I knew I was skipping out one spell because I didn't. Really, I can't eat, I can't learn heal. I can learn I can't even learn Diara. That's dumb. But whatever, you've got Null Blaze. Which would have been very helpful against the fire boss, I'm sure. More spells I didn't bother with. That's fine, I've got like all the nulling spells now, so I should be good. Maybe. So we should probably just end up paying to where we're supposed to go. Wherever that is. Should leave it up north this way somewhere. Okay, well here's a giant ass desert, so we head completely west from this. We'll eventually reach all well, these islands. And then we'll end up back over here. So that we can cross this river one more time. From there we can probably get right back to town if I can run around the mountain. Hey, Ice Gigas. Probably shouldn't be using an ice saber, but who cares? I'm only doing like 600 plus damage. I should probably stay at the end first. Yeah. And it's getting late in the day, so I'm going to have to end my session here, unfortunately. So yeah, after I rest, I'll go save the game. We'll end it there. Interesting does not take long at all. Hooray. So yeah, we got the rest. Right here. So when we return next time, we will go through the submarine. We'll get the third crystal, and if we have time, we'll go for the fourth one as well. Which means that we're probably within two sessions of finishing this game. Because there is still the entire final dungeon area with the final boss and that. But whatever. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.